Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I am Nicholas from Dead by Dice and here I will show you how to activate the Symbarum starter set inside Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Uh, Symbarum starter set is a premium content module that you can buy from Free League Webshop. And uh, that means that you will get everything digitally that you will get in, in the physical copy of the starter set. And uh, what you need to do first is to start a new world of Symbarum. And that is what I have done here. Starting a new world and installing the game system of Symbarum is totally free, but to fill it with content from the published starter set and uh, other uh, stuff that they have published, then you have to buy them and install them inside Foundry. So what you see here before you is a introduction to the game system. And when you have installed it, it is very good to take a look and read through this so you know and have an understanding for how the system works. And when you have done that, you can just close this box but you can still find it here under Journals, Symbarum System Guide in English. Now you have an empty world and you want to fill it with exciting stuff from the Symbarum world. So what you have to do is then go to the uh, settings and find Manage Modules. And as I said before, you have to have this premium content installed inside Foundry first to have to get this to work. When you have that, you go down to the S and you find Symbarum starter set here. I have some other Symbarum modules as well, but we are only going to take a look at the Symbarum starter set in this video. So what you do is you click there and you make a check mark and it will ask you to install JAL, which is a module that Symbarum Starter Set is depending on. And of course you want to do that, so you click yes also. And then you click down here on the save module settings. When you do that, Foundry will reload and then you will be presented with this box that more or less um, informs you that it needs to install a lot of journal entries and index journals and actor entries and scenes and stuff. And that is stuff coming from the physical starter set. So those are um, configured to work here inside the Foundry installation. Well, then you click import if you want to import this. And that is starting the import and it's pretty fast. And what you see here is uh, the first page, the front cover of the starter set. Welcome to the Symbarum starter set. All assets have been imported. Imported. That's great. And then we are presented with this box here, which is a uh, how to use this module. And this is a very, very handy document to read through before you start messing around with, uh, with the Symbarum Foundry module. Everything is imported here up in this tab menu. So for example, journals, they are represented by this book symbol here. And uh, here are a lot of journals. And when you read through this, you can also check out the sidebar here. So you get a good understanding of what everything means. Actors, core rule actors folder has subfolders and adversaries, monsters, mystical powers and such. We go to the actors tab here and we have the starter set here. Starter set actors, Symbarum actors, adversaries, monsters, abominations, well, everything. And the scenes that are explained here, they you find up here on the map symbol in the right sidebar. And you can see different scenes here that you can uh, 
put out on the table, the virtual table to show your players. What do we have more? Items, abilities, alchemical elixirs, armor, boons, equipment, monstrous traits, powers, rituals, traits and weapons. Those things are all inside this symbol that is a bag. And here you find those compendiums. You have compendiums up here. Sorry, here we have the compendiums. And those are practically like a folder with everything contained that is inside this module. We have roll tables. You usually do not uh, use directly from here, but they can be used from character sheets and such on. The information is here. And then we have macros. And at the bottom, we have recommended add-on modules. And these are modules that are recommended for you to activate inside this game world together with the Symbarum starter set when you play it because it will facilitate stuff and make it much more nice. Of course, you can activate a lot of other um, modules as well, but these are the ones recommended as, as a minimum. And then you have to, to just experiment and try out the rest of the modules, which ones you like. But these are what the developers recommend you to, to uh, activate. Well, if we just take a brief look on the different sections up here without spoiling anything for future games for you, we have under the scenes directory, we have two folders here. This is the starter set. Here we have scenes that will uh, load onto the big table here in the middle, if you load them. And then you have uh, adventure locations. And I guess this is the GM map and the player map, uh, the same map, but uh, with a different uh, stuff on it, I guess. We have catacombs, the tower of, and the tower cellar. I won't uh, go through them because they will probably spoil stuff. Um, we then have the GM aid here. And in uh, the actor directory, we have all the player characters and the non-player characters. So we have pre-made characters. We have when darkness dwells. This is character specific for, for some of the adventures, I guess. We have adversaries, monsters, mystical powers. And if we are to check out one character only, Let's check Flaro here, Flaming Servant. This character has a portrait, not everyone has. You can put in your own portraits in, in your characters. Here you have the main character sheet with different attributes, toughness, corruption, combat. You have gear in here. You have the bio for this pre-made character and you have notes you can you can you can put in notes here and um, then you can when you roll you roll on these attributes for example you're cunning you can roll and you see here in the um, in the in the chat window what you rolled if you want to use 3D dice in this uh, game, you go to the manage modules and you need to um, activate the dice so nice module like this and press save module button. So, so if you now roll on this character, let's see here. Floro, you're all cunning. You see that it rolls a 3D dice on the table for all characters or players to see. To read 
the rule book or rules and text and such, you need to go to the um, journals section. And here you have what is called the book one starter rules. These are presented like boxes that you open that are sections of the book that you can read through. And here are here is the book two, book two settings and adventures how to use this module. This is the same information that was displayed when we installed it. And we have rules index that is clickable so you can make different tests. And there are internal links to different pages and tables and so on inside these, um, these documents. That was a brief overview of the Foundry module for Symbarum, the starter set. I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions, please write them down below in the comment section. Otherwise, have a really nice day and see you next time.